Well, now that you're here, and I know you're looking forward to the next to the next video, but before you do that, I just wanted to pause and go over to my other channel, Jawade Comedy Central, and watch The Curious House. What is The Curious House? The Curious House is about the Curious family. I know you've been watching Bro, um, the main character host of Discovering Jamaica, and Abake, the main character host of Jamaican City Top Tier. Now, Bro is a curious, and it's time, I think, you know, this, this, this um, series, this comedy series, is about himself and his family, all right? So, I know I have a lot of subscribers over here. You guys have been subscribing to this channel, you've been watching uh, my videos, you've been liking, you've been sharing. Now, I want you to hop over to Jawade Comedy Central and do the same, because we need to get it up. We need to get the subscription up and the viewership up for that channel as well. So check out The Curious House on Jawade Comedy Central or at ToonsJawade748, okay? Trust me, you will laugh, you will cry. It's a series, a comedy series that will make you re reflect and yet it's a real down-to-earth Jamaican comedy. So The Curious House on Jawade Comedy Central, check it out. The Curious House the curious house come on and rock with the curious check it out so have you subscribed to the channel <laughs> make sure enough okay now go ahead and watch this video <laughs> Hi, and welcome to another episode of Jamicate. We continue our series on Jamaican Highway Codes. In the last episode, we discussed the A-coded roads. Today, we're going to discuss the B-coded roads. If you've watched our last episode, which I implore you to go back and watch if you haven't as yet, in that episode, we would have discussed that the A-coded roads are the main untold highways in Jamaica, ranging from A1 through to A4. There are four of them. These are the primary highways. Now for the B-coded roads, there is 14 of them. From B1 through to B15, there is no B14. These are known as the secondary highways in Jamaica. Just like the A roads, the B roads are also managed by the National Works Agency, the NWA. Now there's a lot of them to discuss, so let's get right to it. Now the B1, begins in Papines St. Andrew, north through to Buff Bay in Portland. I call this route the Blue Mountain Straddle because it straddles through the Blue Mountain in a lot of curves. I tell you, a whole lot of curves you're going to be experiencing here. So let's go into it. So the B1 begins at Papine Square, goes north through to Gordontown, through Irish Town and Newcastle. Then it enters the parish of Portland all the way through to the Blue Mountain Whirlpool, Bulletty Hall, Fall Spring Hall, all the way north through to the Tranquility Primary School, passing the Tran Tranquility Primary School, and continues north all the way through to Buff Bay in Portland where it meets the A4. There are no major towns between Papine and Buff Bay. The B2, which begins in Bog Walk and ends in Kensington St. Mary, just south of Port Maria. The road begins the Bog Walk roundabout from the A1 north through Prospect, through to Riversdale, through to Choja, entering St. Mary, Cuff Gully. Richmond and Highgate all the way to Islington where it meets the A3. Between Bogwalk and Islington, Highgate is the only major town on this corridor. The B3 begins in Mapen Clarendon and ends in Runaway Basin and goes north. Beginning at the Bustamante Highway T Junction or the A2 as Glenmuir Road and Howard Avenue, heading north out of Maypen as Rector Road, 
the Chapleton Main Road all the way through to Chapleton, north through the Summer Summerfield, through Trout All where it meets the B4, then curves north through James Hill, entering the parish of St. Anne in Cave Valley, in Cave Valley, all the way to Alexandria, north all the way through to Brownstown, north through to Dumbarton, then curves northeast through to Runaway Bay, meeting the A1. The major townships between Bay Penn and Runaway Bay on this corridor are Chapleton and Brownstown. The B4 highway runs from Porus, Manchester through to Chart Hall in Clarendon, beginning in Porus at the Melrose Bypass, Porus Main Road in intersection, northwest all the way through to Williamsfield where it meets the B5, then continues north, concurrency with the B5 through Kirkvine, all the way through to Wollaston, branching off from the B5, heading northeast through to Cobbler and Spalling, entering the parish of Clarendon, east to Sanguinetti, all the way through to Peckham and Frankfield, and then head east through the Chart Hall where it meets B3. Between Porus and Chart Hall, the major town on this route are Spalling and Frankfield. The B5 runs from Kendall in Manchester to Rio Bueno in Trelawney, beginning at the B6, B4, and B5 Shrine intersection at Kurtvine, heading north concurrency with the B4 through Mispa, through to Williston, splitting off from the B4 all the way through to through Chudley and Christiana, heading north from Christiana all the way through to the Trelawney border, cross crossing over into that parish in the four corners section, curving north through the cockpit country, all the way through to wait a bit, then curves north through Stetlin, north through Albert Town, Houses Spring, north all the way through to Golden Town and Jackson Town meeting with the B11 crossing and heading north through to Rio Buena meeting the A1. Between Kendall and Rio Buena, the major towns on this route are Christiana, Albert Town, and Jackson Town. The B6 runs from Kendall in Manchester all the way to Montpelier in St. James, beginning at the B6, B5, and B4 tri junction at Kurtvine, heading west through Kendall all the way to Mile, through Mile Gully, through Greenvale all the way into Roses Valley, crosses the border into St. Elizabeth, southwest through to Balaclava, west through to Vauxhall where the Appleton Estates is located, west through Magatee, west to Wyas Falls, then curves north all the way to Redgate and Four Paths in the cockpit country, entering the parish of St. James, heading north through to Chesterfield, north through Cambridge, north all the way to Montpelier, meeting the B8. Between Kendall and Montpelier, the major townships on this route are Magotee and Cambridge. The B7 runs from Baptist St. Elizabeth all the way to the B8 in St. James, just north of Chester Castle in Hanover. Beginning at the A2 in Baptist, heading northwest to New Market, entering the parish of Westmoreland, into Lemmingham, through to Bethelltown, entering the parish of Hanover, through Shettlewood, and to the B8 just north of Chester Castle in the parish of St. James. There are no major towns along this route. 
So there you have it. The end of part 2 in a 4 part series looking at Jamaican highway codes. Today we looked at the B coded roads B1 through to 7. In the next episode we will continue by looking at B8 through 15. So we're halfway there and I'm sure since we started looking at the our Jamaican highway codes with the A roads and now half of our B roads I'm sure you're quite getting the drift of what coding our highways in Jamaica is like, huh? So next time when you go on a road trip, especially through the countryside of Jamaica, you don't have to worry of ever getting lost. This has been another episode of Jamicate. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comment. Thank you for watching. See you in part 3 as we continue our B-coded roads here on Jamicate. Thank you.